Hi everyone, welcome to Pros with Peter. I'm Peter. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make hop tea. What is hop tea? There's something that some people call hop tea that is hop concentrate, where you make tea out of just hops, and then you can add that to your beer. This is not that. This is tea made from tea leaves and hops together in water into one beverage so that you can drink it and get the benefits of tea and hops and refreshment and carbonation in one. Full disclosure, I've never made hop tea before. I recently tried some of Hoplark's hop tea and thought it was delicious. And I wanted something on tap that wasn't beer, but that was refreshing and possibly caffeinated. I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these. I've had a couple before, not this one. This has white peony tea, which I don't know about, and lemon drop and Simcoe hops, which I do know about. I'm making white tea as well, so I think this is a great one for me to try. I just wanna get that nice can open. It is really good. It's its own thing, but I would definitely have one of these in between beers or on a day that I just don't wanna have any alcohol. They've really nailed it. We'll see if I can do something similar. And I'm gonna have more of that. This is really good. All right, so we're gonna go over what you're gonna to need to make this recipe at home. I've got my kegging set up. I've got a sanitized, purged keg ready for this to go into. I've got reverse osmosis filtered water. I've got citric acid. I've got my water treatment like normal. So I'm gonna be treating this kind of like a hazy IPA for some extra mouthfeel because we're not gonna get any from the malt because there is no malt. So I've got calcium chloride and I've got gypsum. I'm gonna do a ratio of 2.5 to one with calcium chloride being more, gypsum being less. You're also gonna need tea. I'm using mostly white tea with a little bit of English breakfast tea mixed in so that I could get a little more tea because I used all my white tea. And I'm using a combination of Glacier and Galaxy hops for some citrus herbal notes and some fruity Galaxy notes. I think those are gonna go really well together and go well with the tea. Obviously you got, you got a scale, I've got my pH meter, but you can pretty much guess amounts with citric acid or even lemon juice. Some acid really helps keep bad bugs out and complements the tea and the hops. I'm using hop addition bags for my hops and my tea. I'm putting them in little baggies. My hops and my tea each are going in different baggies because I'm putting them in at different times and we'll see where that gets us. Okay, so I'm doing a two and a half gallon batch and since we're not gonna bring this to a complete boil, I'm not expecting any loss. So I'm gonna fill my pot up to two and a half gallons to get started. We've got our water in the pot. I am going to start the flame, bring it up to 180 degrees before we put in our tea. While it's coming up to temperature, I'm gonna add our water treatment, which is two and a half grams of calcium chloride, one gram of gypsum, and about three grams of citric acid, but I'm gonna take the pH and I may add more. All right, I'm at about 185 degrees. I'm gonna put in my immersion chiller to sanitize it and my tea to steep it for about five minutes. 180 is a good temperature for sanitation, but it's also conveniently a good temperature to steep tea. I'm just gonna let this go for about five minutes. At current temperature, my immersion chiller isn't running yet. And while it does that, I'm gonna measure out our hops, which is a half ounce of Glacier and a half ounce of Galaxy. Tea has been steeping for like six minutes and we've already dropped to 170, so maybe the immersion chiller is overkill and you could just let it cool down if you're patient. But I have the immersion chiller and I want to add my hops at under 140 degrees because the lower the heat when you add them, the less bitterness we will extract. Since there's no malt sweetness to balance this out, I'm afraid of high bitterness. So I wanna do a later cooler hopping to get a little bit of bitterness, but mostly aroma and a little fruity flavor, citrusy herbal stuff. Throw it back. Mmm, that's good tea. As this cools down to 140, I'm going to take out my tea. That is maybe the lightest lotter I've ever done. <laughs> Ellie, I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need help over here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, all right, we'll deal with that later. Maybe we can compost it or something. Perfect, so we overshot. <laughs> it's at 120. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh no, I almost messed that up. I'm gonna put these hops in this sanitized hop bag, get these steeping as well. Mmm, that is quite the smell. Oh yeah. I think I picked a really good combo of teas and hops. I think you should do this recipe for the first time with what you have. So if you have a bunch of extra tea, something that's taking up too much space in your kitchen because it's in this big metal tin, use that tea if you like that tea. It's great. I wanted something caffeinated and I wanted something fruity. And we've had that tea for too long and it's good, but how often do I make a glass of loose leaf tea? Not that often. So we're using that. 
I had Glacier and I had Galaxy Hops, so I'm using those. I think you should try what you have and see how it turns out. If it's really good, let me know. You might have beat me. All right, we are almost as cold as I would like it, so I'm gonna pop out the hops. Definitely some got through this bag, but most of it stayed out, which is good. All right, once this thing gets down to 70, it's this isn't really exact, because I'm just gonna pop it in the fridge right away and start carbonating it. So we're gonna let it sit overnight, carbonate overnight. If you wanna know how I force carbonate, I'm gonna do this exactly the same as I do in this video above, and let it go overnight, and we're gonna check it tomorrow, see how it is, see how well carbonated it is, and if it's delicious. Ah. Woo wee! All right, hop tea. Look at the head on that. There's definitely still some chunks floating around, but it's not too bad. I think it would pour off in the first few pours. It's nicely carbonated. It smells like tea. It smells fruity. I definitely get a little hop aroma. I think that's mostly Galaxy. I'm not positive I could pick out Glacier when Galaxy's in there as well. There's a nice little foam on there. I, it's sticking around better than I would have expected. Ooh, yeah, that's good. That's really good. If you like tea, this is great. It's really nice and cold. It's really effervescent, more so than beer. I think this would probably constitute an overcarbonated beer. I did guess that would happen and kind of left it to carbonate it a little higher than I normally would have. This is more like beer than I thought it would be. This is cool. I really enjoyed the Hoplark one. This is good. I think this is a really fun project because it's so easy. It's non-alcoholic and you can curate it to exactly your tastes. So whether that's choosing different hops, making it more or less bitter by adding hops at different times, or choosing different tea, maybe with or without caffeine, this is a really, really cool project. Next time, I'm gonna make some adjustments. I'm gonna steep my tea a little bit shorter. Direction said three minutes, and I went six or seven, and that may have extracted some tannins or different flavors that are less desirable. And I'm gonna add my hops at 140 degrees, not 120 degrees. That was my initial plan, but my immersion chiller worked so quickly on the two and a half gallons, I missed it. So I would be more careful next time to check my temperature as I'm cooling so that I can add my hops at 140 degrees, get a little more bitterness out of them, and I would up the hop amount just to get a little more aroma and, and bittering flavor. I mean, this this one's really good though, so I'm, I'm not unhappy, but I think there's always room for improvement. If you end up making this one yourself, let me know down in the comments. If you wanna see me brew some beer, check out the playlist here. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Prost.